Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. I've been posting Christian blogs for almost uh, 11 years. Today I'd like to share Psalm 99 verses 1 to 9. Here's the word of God. The Lord reigns, let the peoples tremble. He sits enthroned upon the cherubim, let the earth quake. The Lord is great in Zion, he is exalted over all the peoples. Let them praise your great and awesome name, holy is he. The king in his might loves justice. You have established equity. You have executed justice and righteousness in Jacob. Exalt the Lord our God, worship at his footstool. Holy is he. Moses and Aaron were among his priests. Samuel also was among those who called upon his name. They called to the Lord, and he answered them. In the pillar of the cloud, he spoke to him. They kept his testimonies and the statute that he gave them. O Lord our God, you answer them. You were a forgiving God to them, but an avenger of their wrongdoings. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Psalm 99, 1-9. And here's the poem I wrote based on this psalm. Exalt the Lord our God, for He is holy. All you people of God, exalt His name to all the ends of the earth. For the Lord reigns, He is great and awesome, and worthy to be praised. He is a God who is forgiving and full of mercy to all who turn to Him. But he is also a God who is full of wrath when people continue to sin. The Lord God is King of kings and is steadfast in his love. He is faithful. He is a just God and full of compassion and have patience to his people. Because he is holy and righteous, let us tremble and fear the Lord our God. Let every knee bow down to him whose name is great and give him praise. Reflection how can we raise the name of the Lord our God so that others, especially unbelievers, will get to bow down to Him as well? Or and how can we constantly be reminded of God's holiness as we navigate this corrupt world? Well, we know that those who do not know God will not have any idea of His greatness and majesty and power. So... Um, by loving others as uh, we are called to love, we are going to exercise that um, attitude that God has, how, how He loves us. So in our lives, if we um, manifest in our lives um, the following the law of the Lord and, um, and, and um, doing the Word of God in our lives, we will be able to be the mirror for others to see how our Lord God is. And we can do that by uh, having a relationship with God, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ. And by, by that, we mean that we meditate on the Word of God day and night, as the Bible says, because it is our nourishment for our spirit and our souls. Uh, we can be constantly reminded of God's holiness if we constantly reflect on His uh, attitudes, His traits, and His character. Because by doing that, then we will be focused on how great He is instead of how corrupt the world is that we're living in. So I encourage you to um, examine your heart, always uh, put it in alignment with the will of God, and let the Word of God correct your hearts. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaars.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. Please subscribe to my channel so I can make more videos for the Lord. Thanks for watching.